Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be focusing in on these fresh start worlds that are going to be coming out here November 2nd. The rollout plan is now released, and there's also an FAQ for all those questions that you may have. Before we get far into this video, I do want to say I will be joining Baggins, Redbird, BDLG, Trick Trick, and the rest of the bald and beautiful team with a whole bunch of awesome New World streamers. So if you guys are interested in something like that or you want to watch, make sure to jump over to twitch.tv slash iGraphicEye to watch live when I go live on Saturday, Monday, and Thursday at 6 p.m., probably up to about 2 a.m. Eastern Time. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel as well as we're going to give you guys great content along the way. So the first things to take a look at here is the rollout plan. So November 2nd, like we said, the blank slate comes to those fresh start worlds and comes to a turn of November 2nd altogether. Here we're going to see wave 1, November 2nd, 4 p.m. UTC. We have wave 2 being November 2nd, 5 p.m. UTC. Wave 3, November 2nd, 6 p.m. UTC. And then wave 4, November 2nd, 7 p.m. UTC. Why is it important to find the exact world you want to play in? Well, some of us can't play exactly at that 4 p.m. UTC. We may be working. We may have other things that are going on. Because of that, they have three or four different waves. And it's also going to help, obviously, the servers and AGS from just absolutely blowing up in flames. So keep in mind, wave four is going to have the most servers. Wave one is going to have the second most. And then the two middle waves are going to just have a couple that kind of scatter in. So you're going to have Central Europe, South America, U.S. East, U.S. West. It's all going to be available. And then Australia is only going to have one here, though, at the wave four. So if you guys are interested in jumping in on these fresh start worlds, find out which world your company is going to be joining right away. That's something that you should definitely know so you know when you can log in and get in right away because these queues might be very, very long depending on the server and the world you choose. I would say this one right here, media is going to be unbelievably long. Artemis, going to be unbelievably long queues. So we'll just continue to keep an eye out on this and we'll keep you guys up to date during that November 2nd date because we'll be streaming obviously November 2nd as well. If we go over to this Fresh Start World FAQ, this is something I wanted to take a look at and talk with you guys with. I had a lot of questions on this on the last stream as well as the last couple of videos. So how long will the servers be locked from transfers from existing servers? Will players in the Fresh Start Worlds be able to transfer out of them? So there will be no transfers of existing characters into Fresh Start Worlds. We plan to allow transfers from a Fresh Start World to a Legacy World, though, at a later time. So that's cool. So if you actually play now and you find a group of friends that you want to play with later on, you can transfer from these Fresh Starts to Legacy Worlds. However, you can't go from Legacy Worlds to Fresh Starts. Makes perfect sense, in my opinion. As we continue farther down, we have can players in Fresh Start Worlds transfer to another Fresh Start World. And no, not at this time. Will there be a third character creation slot, or will I need to delete a character to access these Fresh Start Worlds? Yes, you will have a third character slot on November 2nd. Any and all character slots may be used towards Fresh Start servers or Legacy servers, but you cannot have more than one character per world. By the way, one lucky person who jumps in the comment section right now and says why they want to be in the Bald and Beautiful team will get an invite. So if you guys want an invite to the Bald and Beautiful team for this Fresh Start I will send you all the information. Just put your, I don't know, let's go with Discord. Put your Discord or Twitter or some way of contacting you below in the YouTube comments and tell me why you want in. And obviously, if you're going to grind, we want grinders because we want to be able to push some of these you know, records or not really records, but we want to be able to push some of the highest content as quickly as possible. So if you're looking to go hard in the fresh starts, leave a comment below. Let me know why you want to be involved and I'll, I'll reply and we'll get you kind of set up with getting in really joining the bald and beautiful team i have a couple other invites as well so maybe if you know we have two or three really good ones we'll uh, we'll get you guys in there as well so if the fresh start server world population drops does that mean it'll be merged on a legacy server or will it be merged with another fresh server so we will actually never merge any fresh start worlds into legacy worlds that's something they've talked about many many times so don't expect this to ever happen how many Fresh Start Worlds will there be? Well, all regions will have at least one Fresh Start server, so that's cool that we actually have every single region getting one, uh, whether it's South America, Central Europe, U.S. West, U.S. East, or even Australia. If I'm banned on Legacy Server, can I start a new character on a Fresh Start server? No, bans are account-wide, so it's not a character ban. When you do something dumb, you do something stupid, you're getting account bans. You're not getting just character ban. That's something you should definitely know as well. Will there, uh, will there be any world for SEA or OCE? 
At this time, they do not plan to open any additional regions, so that's kind of been their stance for a while now, and it's going to continue to stay that way. Will the new leveling experience be available on Fresh Star servers? So all the new content, including Brimstone Sands and the revamp starting experience, will be available on these worlds. Will the Night Vale Hollow be available on Fresh Start Worlds? No, but all future events will be available. So just remember, the Night Vale Hollow is the current event, the October Halloween event that's going on right now. It's not going to be available in the Fresh Start World, so just keep that in mind. Will world population be higher on Fresh Start Worlds? No, Fresh Start Worlds and Legacy Worlds will have the same maximum population as any other world. So just keep that in mind, about 2.2 to 2.5k. I think we're up to 2.5k now. Will Fresh Start Worlds have a different build or moderation policy from Legacy Servers? No, absolutely not. Will there be dedicated PvP only or RP only worlds in the future? We do not have any plans for PvP or RP only worlds at this time. Will Fresh Start Worlds be language tagged? No, they will not be language tagged. Will Fresh Start Worlds characters be able to access already purchased items? Yes, account wide items like promotional and in store items will be accessible as they are account wide. How do I differentiate? a fresh start world from a legacy world. Well, fresh start worlds will be tagged at the world selection screen, so you'll know the difference between fresh start and legacy. Is there an official Amazon Games forum or Discord specifically set for people who want to participate in the fresh start worlds? There is not any official games, uh, you know, Amazon Games forums or Discord, which is kind of unfortunate. I think they should probably have one, but they do not have one set up. Will there be queues for Fresh Start Worlds? Most likely, there will be queues for Fresh Start Worlds. I would expect uh, a quite a bit of a wait time. If you guys want to kind of avoid this, definitely start doing remote desktop and getting in that queue on your way home from work or wherever else you're coming from. What is uh, What if all Fresh Start Worlds are set to full? So if all Fresh Start Worlds are set to full, the servers may be you know kind of locked in waves due to world capacity and queues. Uh, they will actually monitor these queues, obviously, and try to roll out phases to ensure that players can join a world in their preferred region. Are Fresh Start Worlds the same as Return to Eternum Worlds? So we will release Fresh Start Worlds at the same time as Return to Eternum Worlds, and Return to Eternum servers will be reserved for event participants. Once the event ends, they will be accessible to the public. So for you guys that are, like I said, looking to get into the Return to Eternum event, if you want to play on the US West server, for the bold and the beautiful, definitely, like I said, leave a comment below. I'll try to get you guys involved and get you guys in with me and the rest of my team. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't already, jump over to Twitch, twitch.tv slash iGraphicGuy. I'll say it again. Saturday, Thursday, Monday, 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. Eastern. It's going to be an awesome time. Hopefully, you guys can join us there on Twitch. And if you can't, make sure to at least subscribe to the YouTube channel and tune in for the YouTube videos and continue to support me there. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I'll see you all in the next one.